Although the, the sound, by the way, in the latest podcast that we published a few days ago, is it sounds better because. Oh, really? <laughs> OK, <laughs> let's play it that way. Oh, OK. You know, it stays in the position that I don't want it to be. And then there, see ya. That's life and embrace it. Anyway, sponsored by LucasAid. Oh, Christ, Daniel, Jack. No, what I'm saying is the sound on the previous podcast is more clear. It's better. It's it's better than the pre because because up until the, the last few podcasts I've been sending to you and then you've been editing them. Mm. But I've been putting them up on YouTube. And do you, then do you download them? Yeah. So you must download a shittier version. Maybe you need to put the vocal compressor on it. Off it, you mean? On it initially. Oh. Or maybe not have it at all. I don't know. Yeah. Well, it hasn't. Oh, I think it was on it when I. Oh, maybe it wasn't. Well, I put it on again. So maybe that's mm. too much. Mm hmm. Yeah. Because I'm thinking you're not putting it on it. Yeah, I th I'm thinking you're just uploading the video. Yeah, no. Anyway, it doesn't. The se it's, anyway. Because um, because some sound per some person who's in audio wrote out a detailed explanation of and I, I, I had no idea what the fucking guy was saying, but I was very impressed. And but, it, you know, he should have been here. Uh, you know, that's why we have experts in their fields, graphic designers who can make a fucking poster for you that catches people's eyes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Sorry. And just listen to this. Right, listen to that boom, 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 and listen. Why doesn't my boom arm make the same sound as Jack's? <laughs> okay. Well, I, I, I because I, your voice has more gravitas. No, than I, Hannah. I think because that microphone is more sensitive for Hannah's voice. Anyway, so as you can see, do you think that the microphone just morphed itself, or what, was that a setting that we? Initially no, I think I think because I think because. Uh, because Hannah would talk this way and that way. So we just had to have a more sensitive mic. She wouldn't speak into the mic. Mm. Anyway, Hannah is in Poland at the moment. So we're just mixing it up here a little bit. We're putting Jack in Hannah's spot. She's incommunicado. She's incommunicado. She's uncontactable, like the Aaron Cardigan knitters of Galway. And uh, Daniel is, take, is, is taking over the Jack and Daniel spot. What are you doing, Jack? <coughs> <laughs> so annoying could you stop okay so hey Jack could you stop that honestly I'm just excited Jack I'm just what, what, blowing yeah. my oh, huh? no, no, no. maybe regretting <laughs> yeah yeah I'm regretting putting the, the Jack in that spot he's, he's very annoying I don't he? know I'm just excited and, <laughs> and, 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 and can you turn his mic down because it's way too loud that's I think that's but no that's your headphones no no I think his mic is too loud Jack Daniel, I put it down a bit. Is it okay? well? Well, is, is it there a, now? Oh yeah, it's a little bit better. Yeah, it was two two cent. Okay. Speak now, Jack. Yes, hello. I think that's better, right? Yeah, I yeah. think it was way too loud. Okay, yeah. I kind of miss my old voice. <laughs> you know, the the I I sounded much more manly. What in my head with the older voice? Now I feel like a wimp. Ooh, yeah. So as you can see, like I just said, uh, Jack is in Hannah's uh, chair. And Daniel is holding the fort for his brother and himself over there in the boiler room, operating the video switcher and the audio. Actually, do you, so so this is so this is a, a new thing for us. This is the first time you've ever been. How do you feel, da Jack, sitting in that uh, power chair? Yeah, well, the couch is a bit comfier, but uh, yeah, it feels it feels all right. Uh, definitely uh, in your direct. Um, firing range line of fire line do, of fire do you yeah. feel more powerful sitting in that chair no or no yes? no i feel like um vulnerable yeah yeah you know like the, do you feel like you're being actually interviewed yeah well no no <laughs> no because i mean you, you know you, you don't really interview people do you <laughs> daniel what do you think he just he that was quite an attack you just did there was it <laughs> Sorry, Daniel, <laughs> Daniel. I like Daniel. It, it takes like a little bit longer for the sound effects to kick in, but somehow it works. Here, here look, this is uh, David interviewing someone. So, uh, when did you first start uh, thinking you were going to be a comedian? Oh yeah, I don't know. Uh, I start... Well, you know, it's funny you say that because when I started thinking I was a comedian was <laughs> I know. end scene. Yeah, it's kind of it's it's true, isn't it? 
I, I know I've said that before so many times. I've looked back on uh, interviews that I, I do and I'm interrupting people who are saying something more interesting than the thing I'm about to interject with. And it is fucking painful. <gasps> It's embarrassing. It's, uh, just uh, that end scene just reminded me. I was in Cambridge and uh, I was in this great pub called The Champ. So what were you doing in Cambridge? People don't know. Uh, well, I was hiding. You just recently are, were in Cambridge. You were hiding. Yeah, hiding uh, from the in-laws. Oh, yeah. Well, no. So, so you're with your girlfriend <laughs> yeah. uh, up in Cambridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was with my girlfriend. Up and in Cambridge. you were staying in her, her s- sister and her sister's boyfriends of Harmon. yes yes and uh what's that supposed to mean i don't know (laughs) go on what the fuck is that supposed to mean? i don't know what are you trying to say anyway (laughs) anyway so there's this great pub called the champ but there was this guy out there and um he was quite drunk but he was he was funny like he was nice but he would say off color remarks and then when he said that he would recognize that and to make it okay he would just go and scene oh yeah and scene Okay, well, that's not a bad uh, get out clause. Or you could say something horrible and then go, uh, I, you know, where that wasn't the brightest thing to say. And I forgive myself. Let's move on. Or let's acknowledge the or- uh, whatever. Yep, yeah, scene is better. And scene. Okay, that's what we're going to do now when we fuck up. Yes. Because we're, go- yeah, I, sorry, I see what you're doing. So you're saying, actually, well, that's not me. I was just, I, I've been, I'm rehearsing for a play. They're not my words <laughs> that I just said. Yeah, because there was a girl outside and there was something about uh, filling up a cup. And he was like, I bet I could fill it. And he goes, oh, shit, I can't see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, actually introduce the show, uh, Daniel. All right, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to And That's Why We're Not Together, starring David McSavage and Jack and Daniel. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, and uh, as you can see, Daniel is operating also the sound effects. It's all very exciting. So, um, okay, me and Jack are just back from the UK. Uh, I was invited to a wedding. I was not. Uh, but I had to go there with my mom and my two aunts. Now, m- my mom is a little bit um, physically delicate, so she needs assistance, shall we say. She's mm-hmm. 85, and there's nothing uh, weird or strange about that. Uh, but we had to get her, get her just like, you know, to make the th- At the airport, we had to get a little wheelchair just to transport her from wherever to wherever. So... Um, but I wanted Jack, D- Daniel, did you know I wanted Jack to, to come with me just to make things easier, right? Yeah, yeah, you told me, yeah. Right, yeah, so... Because yeah. uh, I was already in England. So so, I, was... so Jack was already in England. So, so the um, the wedding was in Dorset. And uh, so, um, so I let the people who were doing the wedding know that Jack was coming but I and I thought it was more I thought it was just an open kind of hey it's a wedding it's a celebration whatever but it was a very um uh kind of planned out sort of uh wedding and fair enough fair, fair enough. enough oh yeah absolutely yeah. fair enough it's there, it's there were, yeah. but it was, so it was my stupid assumption that Jack would be uh, you know no problem he could so um so then it it made Jack a bit uncomfortable because it looks like he's like gate crashing you know, he's like, you know, hey, hi, can, can, I, can I come to you? And he's like, and it's like, ah, you fucker. So I threw Jack under the bus a bit. But, you know, it was also but, like there's a dress code. Oh, yes. I've been living out of a suitcase yeah. for the past two months in England. And there's always the stress. Like, it's like going back to school and yeah. not having your jumper. Or your trousers. Or it's like going back to a, a you school know? that you haven't, that you're not going to even. <laughs> it's like it's like arriving to a school. That, 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 sorry, what's your name? There's no, you're <laughs> yeah. not at this school, and yeah. you're just standing outside the gates, yeah. getting changed. <laughs> and then you know the the kids are going like, please let me into the school. <laughs> so I really, I really threw uh, Jack under the bus. But uh, on the other hand, I was, I, I thought it was a very, I thought it'd be, yeah, and I know it wasn't. A, a kind of chilled out uh, situation, but um, I thought it'd be just like, ah, come on, no problem, whatever. Because, you know, we were at Mark Rothman's uh, wedding the day a few weeks before. And it was very, 
it wasn't it wasn't as planned shall we say yeah. but anyway what was lovely though was uh you were hanging out with mom and mm. auntie my auntie liz and auntie claire and yeah. there was there was good we had good laughs didn't we oh uh, we did yeah especially when auntie liz said oh yeah stop well, hogging that fucking bottle of wine <laughs> no no go on so, so so we were sitting around and liz and claire and with mom and i think liz's or claire's, claire's. daughter was was yeah and liz said she literally said and it's very out of character for liz because she's been a teacher all her life and jack thought it was the funniest thing. and all these uh dorset south southern england englanders are looking at our table like oh oh really is that how the irish act so okay. she said you know stop hogging what's she saying stop hogging the fucking wine <laughs> stop hogging that fucking bottle of wine <laughs> she's like come here to me now Stop hogging that bottle of wine or break your fucking legs. She's um, 74 and 4 foot 11. Man. Oh, yeah. And the good thing about uh, Liz in particular. Uh, stop. <laughs> no, d- inappropriate. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Daniel. Did you know that that was the thing? Yeah. Um, um, yeah, the thing about Liz, actually, I found brilliant was Liz is 74. Is she 74? Yeah, something like that. And she was at the wedding. Like after the, after the dinner, there was dancing. Yeah. And she was well up for it. I mean, really physically capable, and she was dancing. Would you 11. dance ever? I don't. Like, when's well, the last I, time? When's well, the last time you danced? I don't know. It's a long, long time. I, I almost think it's kind of inappropriate to dance if you're older. <laughs> it's like you know, unless you know how to fucking dance, or if you're young and you can bop around the place like a fucking Egypt. Ima- imagine David dancing. No, but I mean, no, but I got. <laughs> oh my God, is it embarrassing to even think about? No, it? no, but <laughs> but 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 um. But I haven't I haven't danced in a long time. Do you remember? Like, do you have a memory do, of dancing? Of course I fucking have a... Do I have a memory of dancing? And how, what, how what did kind you of dance? a daft question how did is you that? Dance? Do I have a memory of dancing? Yeah, I'm wondering. Cause dance, do I have a memory of dancing? Yeah, because it's a big thing. It's a big deal, dancing. How would I not have a memory of dancing? I don't know. You know, maybe you took too many drugs or drunk too much alcohol. You wouldn't who's this remember. Guy, who's this guy in this chair? <laughs> I'm a, Maybe I'm, you took too many drugs all of a sudden. Yeah, I'm, I'm just. What drugs I'm, I'm have a, I taken, Jack? <laughs> I've been around like like thirteen. We had discos, Jack. Yeah. What are you talking about? Would I have a memory? I know exactly the very first disco I ever fucking went to in Glen Albyn when I was 13 in 1979. For fuck's sake! I, just, oh, I, I think he means maybe perhaps the feeling of dancing. If yeah, you do you have a memory of, you know, uh, playing football ever? <laughs> I do, yeah. Do it's, you? It's great. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, looking, I'm getting angry with my own son. <laughs> it feels wrong. Um, yeah, well, I can't remember. But no. like, do you remember dancing in your 30s? Yeah. You were I dancing remember, in your I'm, 30s. I'm, I'm, when I'm was danced- the cutoff? Oh, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to think. Uh, like one day you woke up and thought, ah. No, I just, I guess, you know, when, you was, when I stopped drinking. Mm. Okay, there it is. It was the drinking. So I was right. Yeah, but yeah, but it doesn't mean I can't remember. Yeah, but I mean, when you're drinking, you dancing feels great. It feels loose. Listen, I be, I guess what it is, Jack. When I'm young, when I was young, you know, in my twenties, and I'd be at a nightclub, and if there's some guy, you know, older, you'd just be like, what "The fuck is he doing here?" Oh yeah, but that's a club. It's not a wedding. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Wedding is like you know you have. Well, all I don't. The I don't want to right? dance with my aunties. Well, you, you don't. I don't. Have to, you, don't, don't I, you don't have to grind like, like, on her. Like, like, you don't have to wane on her, man. Come on. Yeah, listen. <laughs> what I'm saying is, I don't. You know, my cousins who I see once every ten decades. You know, you just kind yeah. of like. <laughs> yeah, but that's why they all get drunk. You know. Yeah. Well, I'm not. I, I can't. Mm. Can't. Can't try. But it, when, oh, when was the last time you like danced in earnest? Like. Well, for, okay, for in earnest now. In earnest. <laughs> no, just just like like. Why didn't you what, dance? What, what age? age like? No. Um. You know something? I do think to myself. I think it's a fitness thing as well. I was actually thinking. You know, I'm going to the gym now. Maybe secretly, I should just do a dancing class, one to one, because I'm not dancing with other people, but just simply to for the movement and the the the. Uh, the fluidity or what, the, what are you, the Ger- flexibility. What are you, German or something? The flexibility of, you yeah. know, that dancing gives you and fitness. And yeah. it's, you're not just you're not just jogging like these fucking morons up and down the, with their big flat planky feet plonking up and down the canal. This literally doesn't make any sense. What doesn't make any sense? Why? You, how can you even like running? One of the most. I said like, I'm not running. Jogging. Yeah, I'm not jogging. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I don't want to jog if you're running it's fine but if you're jogging you can get out on my street that's pretty much what you're saying no what I'm saying is um, like just jog the fuck away from me, <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, there are some, no. I tell you, there are some people who just look great. They they just have a natural physicality. They jog with you really well. But there are some people who look like they are, um, you know, what do you call them? Um, zombies. Sea lions. Sea lions. <laughs> They look like zombies, you know. They just they, they just don't look aesthetically good. They're just just flumping around the place. Just and also when I was growing up, you, you know, you jogged, you went to a running track, <laughs> just jog there. And they always they always have this like, you know, I've got a sense of purpose. Could you move out of the way? You don't have a sense of purpose. You've got nowhere to fucking be. Mm. You can slow down. But I know it makes people angry when they jog or spe- especially physical fitness. It does. It, it, it is. No, look, obviously, physical fitness, it, it is a good thing to do, blah, blah, blah. But I'm saying there's no point. To, I mean, it, you're not learning any. Well, I suppose you are learning how to run better. Uh, but um, certainly with dancing, teach you movement. You know, you're learning moves so that when I'm ever in a situation like a fucking wedding, I can just dance and I won't be embarrassing like a stiff piece of white middle aged trash. I had a I had a bit of a dance this morning. Just, yeah, just by myself, you know, like I had the speaker going. I was going into the shower and, you know, I just started. Yeah, you're 25, Jack. Yeah. Yeah, but it's nice to dance. I'm just what I'm saying. It's nice to dance. You know, it's 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 like one of those things. If he, someone, said, he suddenly turned into uh, he suddenly turned into a soprano. It's nice hey, to dance. Hey, hey. I was 25. <laughs> I'm 25. Hey, uh, you when you hey, were, I dance. Hey, when you, you got were, a problem? When you were a little baby, <laughs> you'd stand on the table and do uh, break dance moves. <laughs> You know, you know, or you, you, yeah. oh no, you pretend you were. Uh, oh yeah, you do. You dance to Michael Jackson, or you pretend to play uh, the uh, heavy metal. Yeah, heavy metal, heavy metal. And I remember uh, uh, seeing Queen and being really disappointed because, uh, you know, Freddie Mercury is there going like, I could go, ha, you know, all mm. that like a cappella style singing. And then I, but I liked heavy metal, you know, I was like, what's wrong with these guys? I didn't like heavy metal at all when I was younger. Barry, weirdly, my brother liked yeah. heavy metal. Yeah. I feel so sorry. I bullied him terribly when I was a kid. I feel guilty about it. Brought to you by LucasAid. <laughs> um, you, J- J- Daniel, you remember this? You you were mentioning earlier on that there's a lot of shit on the internet about this uh, Australian bright dancer called uh, oh, yeah. K- K- Fat Cow or something. <laughs> no, sorry, <laughs> Ray Gun. Oh, oh my god! Cow. Oh my god! Fat cow. <laughs> Ray, sorry. <coughs> I'm thinking of Baby Cow Productions, uh, Steve Coogan's production company. Oh, oh, right. She's dancing like a fat cow. No, Ray Gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're gonna well, have to cut that out. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are. Mm. A lot of content creators are talking about her and weighing in on their opinion of her and her performance. She's, well, she's you, an did easy you, target. Did, did you notice that or are you? did you hear somebody saying that? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I noticed it a bit, but then also someone said it as well. So it's funny, people are making content about the fact that people are making content yeah, about this Ray Gun. You know, or, so or just commenting on it. Like, yeah. yeah, but it's funny. Um, so she'll, she'll probably be a big celebrity now on, on the back of being really... Uh, getting zero point but i mean ima- imagine, imagine how like embarrassed she must be now you know i mean it's 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 quite i mean i feel i feel for her well i mean <laughs> because uh, i'll tell you something she gets a lot of flack right okay you're the worst at the thing <laughs> at least you did something i was watching the long jump okay and long jump very impressive i think the american she won the long jump and there was the silver medalist okay and she was going for the gold medal and then she goes and runs for the long jump, and then she just doesn't jump. She no, just she just Jack. keeps on walking in the sand. No, you didn't understand that what was going on. The medals have to already been won. Yeah, but she could have won it. No, but she'd already got the silver medal. She'd already got the silver, and but she'd she already got done the a gold. Per, she'd already done a personal best. Yeah, but go and, go and for also, it. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, I mean, you no, have four she years she, to go to the Olympics, no, no. and you're doing the last attempt, that and happens, you're actually not going to jump. No, that happens a lot. I see that. Yeah, a, no, I see it happen a lot, and I'm like, what's you know, the point? Because she's just given everything. Yeah, but why not? And because, why not? <laughs> because uh, there was this is there was, something I'm very there was one, there was about. one point w- she, there was one point where she was going and her head's not right whatever it is and then it just clicked off I mean come on you have t- four jumps how like physically intense can that be oh, you you've you're been giving, training you're the gi- whole time oh you're giving Ray Gunn a free parass yeah cuz she actually did it is his voice too high? She- <laughs> Could you move away from the microphone? <laughs> move away from the microphone, Jack. <laughs> Daniel, is he too high now? I can't. He's too loud. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. You're given. You're given Reagan a free pass. Reagan, not Reagan. Ronald Reagan. 
Raygun, uh, Raygun you know, was do, terrible. She was doing okay, a prawn thing. You know, that's okay. You know what I mean? But then now, it, because nowadays it's like, no, everyone's a winner. Everyone isn't a fucking no, I, winner. I mean, that's everyone clear, that's is clearly not a not winner. What's happening. If everyone was, you know, in, in uh, comedy, it's horribly competitive. Or, I mean, v- greatly com- competitive as it should be. I mean, that's how we get better. You know, some yeah. people are shite and some people are, are, are a little bit better. Who's going to make the best dick joke today? Okay. Well, those dick jokes uh, put you through school. No, 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 doesn't make any sense. I don't like saying that. Okay. Jack. Get, move back from the microphone. He's, he, he's, 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 Daniel. Jack, Jack's, you're the really, only, Jack's really excited. Yeah, you're, the, you're the voice of reason, Daniel. <laughs> Daniel, how, you're did, the, how did that happen? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but so, I mean, so, this one, Raygun, she's really getting it. It's not a participation medal thing. Particip- like she's really getting the brunt of the interview. Yeah, but she'll get the brunt of whatever. But she'll she'll be she. You, everyone knows her name. Name anybody other. Name another break dancer in that thing. You don't know. know. No. So that'll become. She'll embrace that if she's smart and she. And I think. Uh, She'll become uh, very well known on the back of that. Do you think breakdancing should she be? She is a professor of breakdancing. Yeah, yeah. And also, she's probably really fucking good. She she's just... a professor of bullshit. That's what she is. <laughs> no, but, but I, saw, I saw the thing. It just... Was it supposed to be improvised? I don't know. I'm not... I'm sure they must have come up with a... But I, oh, yeah, sorry. And I, ga- and I guarantee fucking to you, that dance, every mofo is going to be doing that dance now. <laughs> on TikTok? There's, oh, God, Yeah. They're oh, going yeah, to be. They have been. They have yeah. been. Yeah. Copy, so, so, her, so that's the making, one. Making fun of her. So the thing her, that yeah. creates a cataclysmic. Oh, you, she's shit. Is the very thing that is going to be her hook and make. I mean, look at a girl who's describing, a, you know, about a move that she does in the bedroom. Hock to her. <laughs> yeah. Hock to her. It sounds. I sound like a, a politician. <laughs> well, uh, it, it's lovely to meet uh, the 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 hock. Tua. It's a, what, and, and what, minister- what a time we live in where, you're, where your middle-aged father goes, the hock to a lady. Is <laughs> the hock to a, 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 the minister, minister, are you aware of, of the significance of this uh, name, hock to a? Did you see that? Well, I think, I think it refers to hawks and uh, to, uh, to Tipperary, is it? Uh, the hawks of Tipper to him. Did you see that fella? It was a few years ago, Richard Boyd Barrett, I think his name is. Uh, one of them. I think it's people before Richard Prophet. Boyd Brad, isn't he Sinead Cusack's uh, son anyway the yeah. actor okay go on oh, well that's he's a politician yeah now. yeah he's but, a politician but he was doing a, but he's he was also like, someone's son he was saying Taoiseach are you not aware of you know and he's like saying you're not in touch with the youth and he started dabbing like that in, start, in start, the part in the in the in the doll he started dabbing yeah he started going like have you heard of a dab that's what the young kids are doing now. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, you see, that's what I'd be, uh, you know, afraid of. Is, uh, you know, going to... Uh, go, maybe I should go out. Maybe I should fucking go out to a fucking club. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, man. okay, fuck off. How yeah. about that? How Jesus. about fuck off, then? No, that'd be funny. We should do a video. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Like oh, Savage goes no, to no, the club. No, we'll no, we'll go to a club. <laughs> yeah, like... No, no, no. Actually, actually, listen. This uh, comment no, no, comment no. below if you want McSavage no, no. to go to a no, club. No, 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 no. The, the club, the 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 challenge is, you know, how how uh, how how much can you make your sons embarrassed? <laughs> like just going to a club with Jack and Daniel, and and them just kind of, oh God, no, <laughs> and just seeing the yeah. Well, what if we try to out, out embarrass each oh, other? Oh yeah. Well, what would you what would you do that's embarrassing in a club? Um, get sick in the middle of the dance floor and make no, you take, have to have to take us out. Um, God, you know, talk it, to every single girl. <laughs> it's funny, like you know, you know those clubs like on Harcourt Street, and oh, yeah. you know the long queues, and then just like the mill at the at the bar, you know, like four deep. Hey, can I go? I remember the first. Like, I remember the first time. I can I and a hug and a hug. And the chips and just everybody like, huh? I remember the first time I went to a disco, like, uh, and proper loud music. It was very exciting. You know? Oh, yeah. It was like, yeah. whoa, like, this is incredible. You yeah, know? Yeah, but yeah. then, you know, a few, you know, it takes a while and then you kind of, you're not as excited. A lot of DJs are terrible, you know. There's some great DJs. Yeah, no, I definitely... Shout out to my friend Rory Sweeney, actually. He's a very good DJ. Yeah, shout out to Rory Sweeney. Yeah, shout out. To, shout our, out. to our three viewers. Yeah, to our three viewers. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, yeah, no, it's true. When you're young, when, when, when you're young and you go to, yeah, it's all very exciting. Um, you know, that's, but I'm so glad, like, I'm not going to fucking electric fucking picnic. Oh, God. I mean, I'd go to Electric Picnic if they paid me a good chunk of money, but I never you never get paid. You don't want to see Kylie Minogue? No. I mean, <laughs> not, it's funny, like, you know, these these people, uh, you know, they're kind of, you know, out of... And, and then people like them ironically, and then they forget that they like them ironically, but they, then they start actually liking them. But I don't know, you know, Kylie Minogue, whatever. Huh? She's got a good song. You know, oh, what's Jesus. that good song? I'm spinning around. Oh, stop it, Jack! It's funny when I was growing up, like l- know, like music was like if it, if your friends found you <laughs> listening to Kylie Minogue, they kicked the shit out of you. Like, you, yeah, yeah, that was kind of my my time as well. Like, uh, you can't you can't tell people you listen to Kylie Minogue. So. <laughs> yeah, well, you listen to ABBA secretly. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't, but I I, I on my on my um uh on my copy books. I'd write like Tin Lizzy and ACDC, <coughs> mm. but secretly I was listening to ABBA. <laughs> Stay Were you here. actually though, or just yeah, yeah, no, I was. I because I, 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 I loved ABBA, but I I couldn't tell and, anybody. And that did I liked you dance ABBA. to ABBA? Oh yeah, I, I love dancing for Christ's sake. You're obsessed <laughs> with dancing. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. It's, it kind of reminds me. You dancing is like you wearing shorts. You know, it's just like a you wearing shorts is like a new thing. Okay, Jack. Wh- listen, I'm get I'm doing my fitness. I've got a barbell, a squat rack. I've got a cardio machine. Daniel, do you, do you remember? Do you remember uh, David the first time seeing David's legs exposed? <laughs> okay. He would have. What are you talking because about? Because you never wore shorts. I did when I was in Copenhagen, Daniel. Uh. Yeah, I don't, he wouldn't have even I'm noticed. Sure, I'm it. sure we went. We've been to the beach or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but at least uh, pre-COVID, 15 years, no shorts. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I fully remember my, my, <laughs> childhood being shortless. Okay. <laughs> Full-length trousers only. Was yeah, that yeah. A, yeah, big impact. Yeah, because he said to me, "Real men don't wear shorts." Who, did I say that? Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that, and sta- and that fu- stayed with you. Yeah, yeah. No, it's no, <laughs> it's it's funny though. Like the sh- the sh- you know, like, and I'm a clueless myself. And then you know that the certain things that you say to people, well, say to people for God's sake, your own sons. The thing I really, and I we've talked about this on the podcast. And the thing I really regret, guys. Oh yeah, no, J- Jack wasn't even born. And I think I was with Daniel and little Daniel, for God's sake, children. It's not it's specific to Daniel. You know, they're just little. They they know more because they know less. They, their heads haven't been filled with all the kind of societal stuff, uh, you know, um, all, all the discrimination. All. Anyway, listen, so I was there and I said, OK, Daniel, pretend you're I'm your brother. <laughs> Because I was flirting with this girl and I didn't want her to know that I had a son. Are you texting while I'm opening up my for being no, vulnerable? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jack. My, my phone's here, guys. My phone's here. Whose phone is that? <laughs> That's my phone. Whose phone is that? Anyway, so I said, just call me David. So like Daniel, like he didn't get what the fuck was going on. He's probably like six or seven. He's, and, and he's kind of thinking he's oh, committed to the he's no, been committed since he, six yeah but yeah, but, yeah. but, but, but so call you but can, <laughs> can, can you remember that daniel uh i have vague vague recollection but i'm just wondering yeah. what goes on in a seven-year-old's mind when a, a father says uh call me david from now on does he is he thinking oh are we transitioning from father but i mean son it was to, never a weird thing for us daniel. it wasn't like yeah because you grew up calling normal. you just followed daniel yeah. calling well, yeah, what I mean, do you think, Daniel? Uh, well, you know, I th- I think I was too young at the time to really understand it, so I just. Jesus Christ, I'm uh, so sorry. Well, what? I don't know, like. No, but I'm just. I, mean, I, 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 it's, it's, you know, talk about embarrassing, fucking hell. So it's some girl, you well, just, you're... just some girl, and I, you know, and I'm going like, call me David, and then you know. Uh, did hey, it? Did it work? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I don't know what it, it's not about that. It's it's just like David, David. Da- anyway, so <clears throat> I remember uh, saying to Daniel when I was twelve or something, "Where's mum?" Like, because I just tried it out, you know. And he's like, "What?" 
Oh, yeah, sorry. Where's Hannah? <laughs> oh, yeah. How did... Yeah, that's what I don't understand. Then how did... Did you always call Hannah, Hannah? I don't know. I, I, I can't remember oh, yeah. ex- exactly how, how it Hannah, happened. Hannah. Um, yeah, I don't know. But, like, I, I, I feel like it's just normal for us to call you... But uh, to by your names, I don't know. It just feels normal to me. Other I mean, people do it. It as doesn't well. make you any less our parents. Like, but it's funny though. I think, um, well, well, no, but it's funny. I, I <laughs> p- p- parents can be cruel to their children, and I think a lot of parents, you know, the way, like, I know, I know, this has been said loads of times. You know, you, you have to go through quite a rigorous pro- process to get a driving license, but literally anyone can have kids and well, it's well it's, look i get it because i mean like what you you guys were 27 when you yeah, had me so yeah. uh i and mean Hannah knowing myself at 27 and <laughs> trying to have kids at that age just seems kind of crazy mm-hmm. to me anyway yeah. so so I, I i get it like it's uh so i should have kids now should i yeah <laughs> well, well it's, fu- it's, fu- it's funny uh you know you were saying when because you we were talking with granny and you were saying about how when you and hannah when Hannah was pregnant, you were living in uh, yous, tents. Yous. You were living in tents in uh, Germany. Yes. You were like staying in camp- camping sites. Yes. Camping sites. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Well, I just teed you up to, to kind of tell about that. <sighs> Sorry. Yeah. Well, no, we, we were... <laughs> <laughs> brought to you by Lucas Aid. Why do you say that, Jack? Why do you say brought to you by Lucas? Because you know that's the theme of the show. The ah, Lucas Jack, Aid. Jack, he's he, you know the, he, the power is going to the no. Um, I don't know. Yeah, but what's that got to do with anything? Well, oh, just we, like were we, t- we were talking about you know. Well, well, I think you know when you're young, you certainly are more accepting of uh, you know you you, do, you don't you don't have as many demands. You know you you you'll you'll kind of put up with a lot more stuff you're a lot more open to stuff yeah. and um we were i think we were oh yeah i was busking in a in a small town in the south of germany called Würzburg because it was a festival there but we were staying in a campsite and uh so you know, we, Wolfsburg, we, is it? Wurt, no, not not Wolfsburg. What are you yeah. thinking of uh, Hitler's uh, no, lair? No, I was just thinking of no, it was the football team called Wolfsburg. Wolfsburg. Oh, Wolfsburg. W U or Z Berg, Würzburg, I think. Um, but yeah, we stayed in, in a campsite, and like I'd be out busking, and then I'd come come back to the you know campsite, and, and Hannah would be there in the tent, like boiling water to make some pasta, and it it was like I felt like a, you know like an Inuit arriving back to the you know <laughs> looking at my igloo and little Hannah's face you know poking out of the tent. Jesus Christ, five months pregnant with Daniel. Ah, Jesus. And then, you know, and, and, and talking about weddings, you know, like me and Hannah got married in a registry office mm. and uh, it was very kind of, you know, whereas the wedding we just went to, I don't think, did they do? Oh, no, you weren't. Other, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, you were, at, Jack was there, but he wasn't at the wedding. I was hiding. But the, but the vows, I mean, the vows that they were doing, it was very much like um, uh, they were trying, to, uh, I mean, trying, they were showing us how much they l- loved each other, uh, you know, and uh, it, it almost felt like they were trying to convince us that they were, you know, really in love. They love each other more every day and this and it's that and, it's, and they just... Well, that's nice. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Did, did well, no, no. Were, do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? They were trying too hard. Well, do you know what it is? No, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you what it is. Look, you you remember? Uh, well, I suppose it, it's ha- it, it's love is a word that it there's no uh, you know it's not a sign. That, you know, like if you say uh, like um, what like a chair, picture chair, it's for sitting on. Nobody disagrees. Nobody has an interpretation. I'm not talking about artistically, but just generally in a practical basis. You know, so, you know that's a chair. But when people talk about lo- love, and they start saying, you know, you know, you know, and and it's used a lot. And okay, well, what what do we mean about it? Like like I love Daniel, I love Jack, huh? I love lamp. I love lamp. <laughs> no, but I mean, um, you know, we all get it. You don't have to, you, you know, like like when you're st- starting to say, I love Daniel every, I love Daniel more every what day. What is love? Well, no, what, what, sorry, it just feels like you're setting yourself up for, for a big crash. For a failure, yeah. Well, well um, 
also this idea of uh, you know the one you know being with the one if you th if you actually thought you were with the one it would be it would be quite a lot of pressure to put on yourself and the person you're with well like jesus yeah right right <laughs> well, well actually right yeah the one yeah that's the, romantically that's kind of where 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 that stuff is oh yeah it's like, like a romantic it's 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 it's, it's almost a religiously it, it's almost taking the place of religion so you if you believe you're with the one it's it's kind of you know um well, yeah, very codependent so some and, people and, worship their partners truly you know? yeah and um uh i think that's v very weird uh but but i did that like with fiona i i thought you know i convinced myself that she was a the one and i kind of acted accordingly and when she when i broke up with her i was fucked but then, you know, as I get older, more life experience, I realize there are lots of the ones out there. And it's not about the person you're with. It's about you and what you're doing or whatever, you know, and get yourself right. No, Jack, what do you think? Yeah, you, you, you were putting her on a, a stool, a pedestal. <laughs> a stool. <laughs> yeah. A pedestal. What is a pedestal? Pedestal. It's, a, pedestal. A, it's, a, it's a little mini stool. Okay. Well, that's a ped sorry. A pedestal. It's like uh, something that you put yeah. a statue on. Okay. Okay. Ah, right. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, yeah. But like when I'm saying that about um, the one and so on, uh, do, <gasps> what, what are you? What are you thinking? But you've you've had a few girlfriends before the girl you, for, you're with now. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, I had a lot of. Well, not not a lot, but like a few like short term. You know. Yeah. But but yeah, definitely with. Um, my girlfriend at the moment. He suddenly he's turned into politician mode. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? When you're talking authentically, it gets awkward. Well, certainly, no, no, certainly with the with the with 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 we were talking to each other for a long time because she was in England and I was in Ireland. So yeah. we were talking to each other for a long time before we met up. So I knew like w she was like, I liked her personality, you know, but I don't, th you know, it, the one, you know, I don't know, maybe. But no, 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 there isn't. But I think every person has a certain set of it has a personality, yes, a certain personality that works well. With that others. works well, not necessarily the Too same. Close. Not necessarily the same personality. Yeah, but perhaps uh, slightly opposing in certain aspects. Yeah, I know. It, uh, it, no, I hear. And it can like ma yes. jigsaw together. Yes, yes, yes. You know? Well, uh, all I would say is though. Um, yeah, you haven't you you haven't met everyone. So I'm just I guess mm. I'm trying to protect. Like like that's why when when you break up with someone who you, who you're sure is the one, you know it's so painful. So you need to kind of get your shit together. Like like there are books that are dedicated to people who who have serious uh, dependency problems, and they they say listen. You know, uh, the relationship thing should be like a pyramid. You know, you, you have to have your mates, you have to have your goals and your the things that you like to do, your hobbies. And, you know, relationships should, should be there as well. But if it's all about the relationship, um, it's very unhealthy. You should have you should have you should have be doing things outside of the person you're with. Yeah. Um, you know, because the girl I'm seeing at the moment is great. We, we see each other uh every so every two weeks or so at the moment anyway <laughs> no but I, uh, <laughs> pencil her in <laughs> no but <clears throat> i mean yeah uh, no, it's, I get it's, you. it's uh, and so w when we see each other like it's it's we're really glad to see each other you know we appreciate it it's kind of um we're grateful you know as opposed to whatever like uh, but then i see couples like you say and they, they're just like they're in the little relationship bubble and it's but you know needs are being met i guess maybe they didn't you know they didn't have much of a stuff personality together uh, alone and then they come in together and they're just uh, super boring instead of just a bit boring yeah <laughs> yeah what about the the whitakers you know they're good relationships what's that you know the whitakers have you heard of the whitakers no they're like um, it's kind of it's kind of messed up actually because a lot of uh, you know there's a lot of kind of like travel blo vlogger guys or whatever, and they go to different places. So there's this family called the Whitakers, and they're in they're an inbred family, and they're all oh god no they have all this no kinda, no, no not 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 the, 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 you mean was it a Vice documentary? <clears throat> so there's loads of people going. I'm pretty sure there. I mean there has to be. But I mean, but you're talking about seriously 
Yeah, yeah, they're they're like. They, but, but some of them can't talk. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah but uh, you know. Okay. Right. Well. Well, no. What, what, what we're all thinking, but we're not no, saying. No, okay. What are we all thinking, <clears throat> but not saying? Well, that there, you know, there's there's high likelihood that there is. Oh yeah. De- oh god, there. definitely. There yeah. was there was horrific stuff yeah, going yeah, on in those it's, isolated it's, communities. It's terrible. It's, but there's stuff. Like, you see, that, that that's the thing, like. Um, you know the way you, uh, I don't know if we were talking about this. I saw this uh, documentary about your man Eamon Casey, Bishop Eamon Casey, and we thought the biggest thing that he'd done was, uh, you know, he had this relationship with a woman outside of, uh, I mean, as while he was uh, a priest or whatever. But it turns out he's a paedophile, right? Mm. Uh, and but but the thing is, and then you look at these documentaries and you think, oh well, things have changed. I I, I don't think things have changed because. Um, like those monsters, those paedophiles, they they pick on or they, you know, groom people who are vulnerable and don't have a voice. So all you have to think about who doesn't have a voice, who can't speak out, you know, think of the vulnerable people in society. And that's why we're not hearing about it. And then eventually when those people mm. grow up or get away from that, then you're going to start hearing horrible stories about what's happening yeah. right now. Yeah, but, it, it's but it's true, sickening. Because the, the Catholic Church had such influence and then as their influence waned. There, yeah, the, then the, the stories truth came out. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. What, what, institu- but, but, what institution is like that now? Well, there you go. What, what, what why were you mentioning the, this documentary about? We the, were the mentioning. Word? I was mentioning the Whitakers because I was wanted to say about these travel YouTubers that kind of go out there and interview them. Yeah, but what's that? What, why? And I'm trying to piece it back together. And we and I said <laughs> that because... We were talking about uh, your relationship with Uns. Uns yeah. And then you're talking <laughs> about the Whitakers. And then, and the then fuck? it just reminded me of my relationship because we're so... Uh, ah, so weird. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm I joking. don't know. We're so what? We're like... No, bro. no. <laughs> no, because I'm joking. Jesus. Joke? I don't even know what he's joking about, Jack. Danny. Yeah, Daniel. You, you do know. I, anyway. Who? Oh, because you're like brother and sister. No, I didn't say it like that because I was like, oh, we know each other so well. Is this because <laughs> the Whitakers are family? Like, you know, like it's fucking. Yeah, anyway. Okay, let's move on. Can we just please? <laughs> Devil's avocado. Devil's avocado. So look, I. If you I, were I, one of the Whitakers. <laughs> I, yeah, and, and also. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and also the dress code, uh, I think uh, dress codes at weddings. Oh, that's scary. Well, well, you know, like, uh, you know, and uh, 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 dress codes, like they they they're a bit. I mean, really, okay, fine. It's only an old dress code, but um, for some reason, I just kind of go. Ooh. Yeah, but you're just. It's kind of. You, it's you, it's you, almost you, like it's almost like um, you know, you can you join our little cult here for the day or something? <laughs> no, I can't. Yeah. Yeah, um, Devon, uh, or where was it? Dorset, Dorset yeah. in general. I, I got, I got a very culty vibe. Really, from Dorset. No, yeah. no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, do you mean? Do you mean that that there's they have a prescribed way of interacting? Exactly, with exactly. Uh, so you, there was this nice nature walk, and every single person without fail goes morning, morning, and as they as they walk by, and you go how are you, and they're like, huh? It's morning. <laughs> it's not how are you. No, they, they, it's morning. <laughs> oh, I see. So they <laughs> quick abrupt. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, I, I think I was talking to Kaliri about that with the, the politeness uh, of the uh, British, certainly in that part of the world. It's, you know, this very sort of slight... It's, it's very surface. Uh, well, listen, uh, I'm okay with surface politeness. Yeah, okay. If it's not, I didn't if say it, you weren't. Um, <laughs> well, well, you know, but behind it, it you know, is world domination. It feels you like... You know, whereas, if, whereas, if, whereas you have the guys in the inner city in Dublin and at every moment it's like, <laughs> excuse me, you know what I mean? But behind it, nothing. <laughs> no power, no nothing. And yeah. So they've, done, they've done nothing. They, 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 they. It feels yeah. like... I'm doing the Donald Trump. Once you do that, you talk... You, 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 you. Sorry, go on. It feels like in Dorset, like every lunar eclipse, they put on fox masks and go and do like some kind De- of purge. But, I t- I, but definitely... Um, First of all, it, there's wealth there, yeah, yeah, yeah. and also well maintained, clean, and the houses are just—they are delicious looking. Mm. The walls and the bricks and the brickwork and the windows and the roof. I just—it's it, to me aesthetically, it is uh, delicious. Yeah. But <clears throat> I know what Jack is saying. You feel, mm. you know, be, behind closed doors. You know, God knows. Well, I felt that. Believe it. Or, I bl- believe it or not, <laughs> when, I, when I went to Brussels, <laughs> when I went to Brussels, Belgium, fucking hell, 
Mm-hmm. I mean, talk about like talk about stultifying boredom. Oh yeah, yeah. Like I was I was staying in the suburbs of Brussels and these giant hedges, really oppressive hedges and just privacy and just these roads, you'd go into these neighborhoods and just <laughs> nothing yeah just and then you know hello hello i am from brussels it's like i mean even even count dracula wouldn't go there you'd be, you'd be flying be going i want some blood we're in brussels i i i'll die i'll die instead because he, he if he sucked the blood of yeah, okay. Whatever. Brussels is a weird place, though, isn't it? Because it's a uh, there's a lot of different uh, countries there, like you know, and they kind of keep in their areas and stuff. So like when I, I've one of my best mates, Fenton. Ah, Fenton. He he was he's Irish German, but he grew up in Brussels, and uh, we went to this uh, party, and it was all Greeks there in the party, you know. Yeah, it was just Greeks in Brussels. You know, it was interesting. Whatever like, happened, we went to the, whatever happened to the Greeks? They had this amazing civilization. No, sorry, yeah. go on, go on. Yeah, go on. Well, I'm only no, that's an interesting topic. Actually, that interests me more than, than that. But, Is it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, the the Greeks, um, they kind of <laughs> Jake, Jake's doing Jake's doing. The rest is history. The rest is history. <laughs> they, you know, they they the Roman Empire took them over really, and then after that. You know, they lost wars against the Roman, well, Republic at the time. Jack, what do you, it's funny, hey, isn't it funny to do a history uh, program and you haven't got a fucking clue about <laughs> yeah, history yeah. like me? Like, look, if, if I was to do a history, just welcome to, no, 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 up. let's just do it. Let's just do it for the crack. So, so you ask me, okay. so, so you ask me questions about Greece and Greek history. Okay. Uh, the, the rest is history with Jack Andrews, joined by David McSavage. Okay, so, so the topic is uh, Gr- Greece and Greek ancient history. So, so the specific topic is the uh, uh, Aristotle w- war between Sparta and Athens. Well, I'd and, like to... and the influence of the Delian League. Well, that, first of all, so can great, you can you great question comment on that? Great question. Let's talk about the Parthenon. Ah, <laughs> 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 you didn't think I knew about that one, <laughs> the Parthenon. Yeah. Yes. Do they have a the I- Parthenon- Ionic or Doric columns? Well, well first of all, <laughs> that's another great question. <laughs> Let me just say, the Parthenon uh, at the moment it's in ruins. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I went to see the Parthenon. One of the biggest disappointments. I'm talking in my life. about it. Go on. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gra- Gra- Athens in general. I wasn't a big fan You're of You're like some guy from Dublin going, fucking Parthenon is in fucking bits. It didn't even finish fucking it. Shy. <laughs> they didn't even finish it. Fucking hell. <laughs> the fucking Parthenon. They didn't even finish it. <laughs> Loud as shy. Uh, yeah, we went to fucking Athens and all, and they didn't even have fucking... It was, they, it was all in ruins. <laughs> it was all in fucking bits. Poor as shy. If I wanted to see fucking rubble, I would have looked out my windows as you were. Uh, but you no, know, let me ask me a question about that. Athens was founded in 1200 BC by Athenium, the god of Lycenium. <laughs> you, were now, clo- you were close. Huh? Yes, and um, also the Spartans and the Aztecs never met <laughs> because the Aztecs lived in South America. Spartan children were thrown into cold water. For the crack, no, I don't know. Spar- much. Sparta actually is a, is an interesting one. I mean, obviously, in in this part of history, ancient history, slavery is a common is just a part of everyday life. But the Spartans had it, so the Spartan citizenry didn't work at all. Really, they didn't work at all. The what they what there was their transaction was that in times of war they would have to fight. So oh. so there was no standing armies in this time. It was just like the citizens kind of, you know, when you watch 300, they make it out as a professional army. It's not a professional army. They they were the citizens that would come together and um, and fight. But for their day-to-day life, they just had a, a slave class that did the work for them. And, they you know, all day, you know, they're just I, training. I, I, Oh right, right, right. Yeah. So they're just in the gym all the time, well, and they may, have people. Yeah, but but maybe. although although um, the people doing the work and making the food and feeding, they would be 
uh, they'd, they'd have their own food and have their own place to live and they'd be under the protection of the Spartans. Yeah, I mean, essentially they were the working class. I g- uh, well, I, I guess, mean, I I guess mean, I'd probably, you know, I'd, if it was a choice between a Spartan or working class, I'd probably choose to working class so I wouldn't have to fight, fight, right? Yeah. But I mean, it's kind, of, it's kind of similar to today, you know? I mean, you have people in big, huge mansions, big estates, they work, you know, while everyone else actually works and gets hardly any money just enough to survive just enough to get bread or just enough to get food and enjoy the odd show while uh, a small percentage of the citizenry you know the one percent or the even point zero zero, you mean you mean the ultra rich yeah yeah or you know even like you know donkey yeah you know well no i mean that's i'm sorry it's funny when i was when i was down in uh when i was down in uh the spa shop uh, I saw, you know, the winner, the the lottery winner, three point eight million. Mm. I know who won that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to say, but yeah, I know. Me too. You know, but, and, uh, but uh, we'll let you know uh, privately uh, for a so, small so, fee. But, but but you know, you're looking, you're looking at that, you're looking at that uh, n- n- amount of money, three point eight million euro. Anyway, fuck off. I'm tired of thinking about it. See, I think uh, that's what keeps people kind of calm is they somehow. Uh, carry the belief that they will be rich mm. anyway i am rich i'm richer than rich i've got my two sons and they're still hanging out with me i feel very grateful thank you guys yeah and the terrible thing if it was you know all equality like any of you you had you know you could no that doesn't work be either. richer no, than no, no, everyone that doesn't else work. You know? okay, so anyway this greek party that you were at in brussels what was weird about it well it was interesting about brussels is that there's kind of like a other oh, greek party was here there was a French speaking party here. There was a German speaking party here. You know, they kind of, you know, there's there's a lot of diversity, but they kind of keep to themselves in a way. And then they mix as well. But, you know, it, but it, like the Greek party, for example, they were drinking a lot at all. They were just having a few drinks, but they were partying all night long mm. till like 12 midnight, one in the morning. Whereas the French speaking, German speaking, they're like. That's not partying all night long till 12 or one in the morning. I would thought like, okay, huh? Five in the morning? Six in the morning. No, oh, sorry, one p.m. I meant like oh, like all the tw- midday, one p.m. I mean all all morning. Into yeah, the yeah, night. yeah. Like you know, but like not. They weren't drunk. Did you know? You know right, I was listening uh, to the rest is history. This podcast on Spotify, and they were talking about you know the events leading up to World War One, and they were talking about you know. Uh, apparently there weren't passports w- way back then. You know, you know, you didn't, you didn't. Uh, if you want to just go from uh, country to country. You could just, you know, wander in. Apparently, depends. Depends on. What, oh depends yeah, no, if if Russia, Russia. Depends you needed if you're a, tied to the land. Russia, you needed a passport. Yeah, Russia, Russia, you needed a passport to leave your area. Oh. You know, because there was like, but also if you were a peasant, you know. But it's kind of like that now, anyway, in Europe, isn't it? Oh yeah, you don't need to. You go. No, country, I mean, you country. need a passport. But no, it's, not it's, not if you go from France to Spain or. Yeah, you need your passport. No. you do. No, but you, yeah, but you don't. You don't. You need your passport card at least. Oh, you're right, right. You do. Okay, how long have we been broadcasting, Jack, Daniel? <coughs> uh, 52, 53 minutes. Feels longer. Um, <laughs> Daniel, can you get involved, please? Uh, what do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm chiming in every now and again. You know? Chiming. Yeah. yeah. Well, what's your, chiming what's your problem, David? Huh? Okay. What you got to, you know? No, because me and Daniel did the podcast. It's and not, you prefer, it's not, it, you prefer that podcast? No, no, I just say it's, it's a nice, um, you know, uh, look, I'd love to have guests and all that, but it, it, there's, a, there's something like, you know, uh, there's a hassle getting guests. And it is, <laughs> what? what, what? Isn't that, you have to like talk. To you them. have to do no, that. What I mean, it's yeah. just like, it is a fucking hassle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, um, you know, look, I, I think I like doing this podcast. And I think the thing is, uh, for anything to do, to do anything in to do anything or to achieve success in anything, you just have to keep doing it. As you know, so, we we don't have uh, sorry. Don't, don't apologize. Don't, yeah. I, I, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm yeah. So sorry. Go on, anyway, go on. Um, I know we don't have a lot of viewers, but I feel like we have a nice community of viewers. Yeah, you know, no, you know, I don't. And, mi- and no. I like and I like the comments. You know, I like yeah. reading the comments. Yeah. Uh, the bad ones as well. I mean, they're kind of the funniest ones. Yeah, you Jack, I like Jack, that. Jack I, doesn't mind the bad ones. I, 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 I like them because it yeah, shows yeah. that people care. <laughs> and that's and that's I mean that'd be terrible if people didn't care. I mean look at Floyd Mayweather, how much money he's made, fifty and oh. Everyone hates him. Fifty and oh. Fifty and oh, fifty f- wins, zero losses in yeah, professional yeah, yeah. record. You know, yeah, Floyd I mean, Floyd Money Mayweather. Everyone everyone says, Oh, he's a loudmouth. Whatever, <laughs> people care. You know? Just give us money. Give us 
Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll set it up next year. <laughs> we'll figure out a way to monetize and buy the big house. Buy the big house. We'll buy a big house and we'll say, oh, you can stay with us. <laughs> and then and impose fucking shit rules. <laughs> I don't, I, and also I'm going to get married next year. Not really, but I am. Like, I'm just going to get married and just uh, create a wedding in a difficult place to get to. It's actually, wh where's the wedding? In a tree house? In a tree house? Yeah, there's, tree, there's a, a forest and you have to climb up trees. You have to take the Polar Express. And you have to get into a harness. And then you have to listen to my poetry. <laughs> well, it's in the Alps. It's in the Alps. <laughs> and uh, it's very, and you, it's very, we cry. It's crying. Anyway. But uh, God, yeah. No, you don't. You don't want to be mean. It's also gonna be midsummer <clears throat> as well. Yeah, well I just, I just don't think you're a wedding person, David. You know. Are you a wedding person? Yeah. You know, function guy. Are you a function? Well, no, you're right, Jack. Because you know, I, no, I think Jack, you're right. Uh, I think well, I'm uh, not a function person. No, no. You, well, you, you no, are. I, 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 I can, I can you, handle myself. You can handle. You, what is what is a function like? You mean he means a party person? If somebody goes to a I'm party, I'm going to a function. But you, you, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Fun, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I uh, let's go to a function. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go yeah, to some Jamer function in the Germans <laughs> with the Berlin. Jamiroquai has a song like that. Does oh, he? <laughs> yeah, he just goes, "We're going to a function." Ah, shit! I thought yeah, that was a new. I thought yeah. that was. A, I thought that was a new. I thought no, that was my bit. I know. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> so he's he's using the word function to replace party. Yeah, yeah. Well, just, think of another word for a function then. But I would guess that function is a party with a meaning. I'd say, is that not what they would? Why they would use the word function? Oh, no, a function has a business uh, aspect to it. We, we, I'm going to a business lunch. <laughs> Let's go to a business lunch. Let's casually go upstairs and have half a Jenkins Annuals alcohol free. <laughs> Bam, boom. And meet two people for the first time and for it not to be awkward. What, Jack? What, what, Dan is hitting a sound effect. <laughs> go, on, go on, go on, hit it. I don't it. know what to do. Go I on, hit it. Hit something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> go on, waiting. Um. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. <clears throat> so, uh, Jack, when are you heading to Amsterdam? I'm heading to Amsterdam, well, before uh, end of August, so very soon, very shortly. Like how, how what, in two weeks? Uh, what's the date today? Today's the 15th, 16th. 15th, so about two weeks. Okay. Well, so not Maybe sooner. Well, and Hannah's back on Tuesday, so we'll, we'll be able to, normal programming will resume. Yeah. Um, sorry, sorry, guys, for uh, hijacking. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, Jack is used in so many uh, words. words, you know? Yeah, like uh, so. So jack you, you 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 have a, a yeah a car jack like a or a what you call it when you uh, the jack to lift up a car to change a wheel. Yeah, jackass. What do you call it? What do you call that? A car jack. Yeah, it's Is a it? jack. Yeah, the, when you change the yeah, yeah. wheel. Yeah, yeah. It's a car jack. Yeah. Yeah, a ja jackass. Jackhammer. Jack of all trades. That was my uh, nickname in, in in high school. Jackhammer. <laughs> <laughs> I do, and, I, and also you know uh, the other thing about this wedding was that i was traveling with my mother, mother. oh yeah, yeah 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 and like we were saying before the logistics of traveling with mom and like the certain kind of if you could call them little bottleneck situations so so you know okay so taxi to airport uh, in airport through security secure so every fucking time we went through security those little guys with their fucking wands were wanding uh, my mother my mother's bag and they spent way too long on it and on on our way back in bristol airport there was this guy and he was opening up my mother's i could see him opening up, up my mother's uh suitcase and the wand was in and he was sort of opening up and i could see like you know her her underwear and so and i, and I was I, I could feel myself getting so angry like yeah. you know get your fucking hands out of there you fucking freak and then you know and he's spending way too long and then then this this then mom goes under the security thing and it goes off and then somebody said oh she's probably got wire in a bra or something and honestly 
I, 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 I came that close. Like I felt so r- red with anger or something, and I wanted to punch one. I'd love to punch one. Of you them. know, I, I, I know. And Jack was I saying, so, I, "Are you a big I, man? Are you a big man?" <laughs> I felt a bit embarrassed for you. <laughs> no, but it's just, it's just very stressful. Who's that? That's PSA. Who? I, Pierce, my mate Pierce. Will I answer? Yeah, go on then. Jesus, quickly, Pierce. We're doing a podcast. How are you, Pierce? Tell him we'll be ready. <laughs> we're doing a podcast. My dad's annoyed at you. Okay. F- f- all right, no problem. He'll he'll call you back in five minutes. Fuck off. <laughs> okay. Yeah, fuck off then. <laughs> um, you know, and it, uh, yeah, I found it. Oh yeah, and then this guy, this guy says to me, you know, he he was going through my mother's thing, and and the gate, their gate was closing, and I'm saying, mate, you know, come on. And he says, oh, yeah, I have to. Well, their gate is closing. She's that's my mother. She's 85. You don't have to look through. I'm doing my job. And I said, yeah, well, it's not a good job, is it? It's not a good job you're doing. So what's that supposed to mean? You fucking heard me, motherfucker. And then he had t- tried to attack me. And then, you know, I punched him, right? And then he knocked out. And then me and mom were just running down the thing. And she said, David, what's wrong? What happened? It's okay, mom. Uh, <laughs> and then I got her onto the plane. And then we got out of there. Yeah, yeah. And then no, there was a guy who was really. I mean, he was a friendly ah, he guy. Was, he was sad. I know, but he, he started sad. going. He started doing impressions of Irish people. Ah, yeah, but yeah, I know, on. but I don't. When English ah, people, come on. no, no, he was don't okay. Don't be so sensitive. No, no, he was okay. You know? Actually, I'm not. I, you know, I, he, no, Jack. The English Jack. person can't do was uh, can't do an Irish accent because it offends me. Jack, don't put on that weird expression on your face. I don't like it. Listen, you're right, Jack. No, Such he a was snowflake, David. Jeez. Can I finish a sentence? <laughs> oh, can I actually finish a sentence? You're right. No, you know, he's messing around. Okay, go on, go on. Jack, Daniel. I think he's excited to see his friends. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on, go on. Listen, yeah, he was he was actually sound and, and you, you know his attention. But, but I guess because I was with my mom mm. and I was kind of just in that state of like, you know, so I couldn't really... There, but there are some English people who do that show you show Irish accent. That's fucking yeah, yeah. annoying. No, it, 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 but is, I, it anyway. is. I I was in Henley Royal Regatta. Regatta. Yeah. And they're like the poshers of the posh. And they go, oh, you're from Ireland? Oh, potatoes. And they go, potatoes. And I, look, and I wouldn't laugh. I just looked at them like a lot of people died. Did you say that? Yeah, I said a lot of people died, like million yeah, people go on. died. And I, uh, I'm sorry, no, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Go on. <laughs> just completely killed it pure ignorance yeah. um, no you're right Jack you're right no actually he was look he was a fucking sound bloke right he was a sound bloke Jack he was a sound bloke but I'm there you know my mother you know I really want to protect her I feel very you know just and I don't like people looking at her funny or kind of being dismissive mm. searching rifling through her luggage the woman is 85. Use a bit of discretion, you fucking moron. I know, but... It's, 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 it's my job! It's I have security. to go through! Yeah, she's he, 85. Does yeah. she look like a fucking... Whoa. What? What What does a terrorist look like? Huh? Chuck, you can't say huh? that about your own grandmother, you foolish man. <laughs> yeah, but I was just saying, is there a... You're, you're oh, kind of... Christ. You're kind of coming across now as if you're saying... A terrorist looks like so, looks like X. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> oh, what? You don't think a granny could be a terrorist? You don't think she has the capability to be a terrorist? You don't think she's good enough? Huh? Daniel? I uh, think, okay, I think if she wanted to be a terrorist, she could be a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. What, what are we doing? Jack? Oh, yeah. No, that's. I think that's good. That's good. We, 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 we've, uh, yeah. We do need a, it'd be good to have a guest on at some point. <laughs> no, I enjoy okay. that. I do enjoy that. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for um, j- j- tuning in to, and that's why we're not together. Thank you very much, uh, Jack. Thank you. And uh, uh, if, if you don't want me to return here, yeah, I, I will are, not are return. You thank, are you not thanking we're, everyone? Yeah, but I thought you know you play the music. Okay, look, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. It's very exciting. We're going to have Hannah back next week, and she's going to be giving out about the fact that I dragged ja- drag Jack, j- dragged Jack to this wedding, and I was wasting his time because he has goals and dreams and everything. Thank you very much, Jack, for sitting in for Hannah. Thank you, Daniel, for sitting in for Jack and Daniel. Vaccines. Oh Christ. <laughs> Um, I thought that was a sound effect. Okay. <laughs> that should be a sound effect. Don't play that, Jack. What? Just pretend you're Shh. playing it. <laughs> it doesn't matter.
Okay. I'll see you guys next week, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks, thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Daniel and Jack. Okay, right. thank you.